Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and I have you guys for some more Burrito Bison gameplay, and we're moving on with this in Flash Player Mania. I also, guys, am just about to go buy Swords and Sandals. I'm just thinking about whether buying Swords and Sandals 2, the current version that I've been playing for Flash Player Mania before this, or going on to Swords and Sandals 5. So I don't really even know the differences, I'm going to research it, but if you guys want to take part in that whole voting process, just comment down below what you want. Should I buy the second one or the fifth one? It's really up to you guys, because I just want to make you guys happy, because to be honest with you guys, I would be happy with either one. They both seem pretty awesome, so just uh, comment down below what you think if you're interested. If you don't really care, then GG. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So on for some burrito bison gameplay. All right, let's go. First time, the first one of the done. First one, first one. Come on! Ah! Oh wow, we fucked that up pretty bad. Ah, not not bad though. No, we're coming back. We're coming back. Oh, I think I feel like I wasted every single one of my ground pounds so far. Oh, there we go. At least we got a couple back. Come on. Oh, uh, and someone also pointed something out to me that was pretty genius, and I'm surprised at myself for not actually thinking about this, is that the way you unlock more ground pounds isn't, like, gradually over time. It's based on how many of the little gummy bears you hit. So say you hit, like, uh, I'll show you guys. So say you're floating in midair, and you just use it like that. You're not getting any back. It's not time-based. It all just depends on how many of these little guys you hit. And after you hit a certain amount of them, then you'll get the ability back. I'm not sure how many. It's about like 10 or so. But after I found that out, I was like, wow, I feel like such a dumbass. But that's okay. It's all good. Also, some great news. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck you, cop. Honestly, fuck you. But um, if you guys are wondering... Especially if you're fans of the Sphere Survival Let's Play or Island Craft Let's Play. I am finally back at home. I'm visiting home because I just got Black Ops 2, actually. I know it's I know it's Friday, the day, like, three, four days before we're supposed to come out. GG, don't question it. I got I got Black Ops, though. And, um, and basically, I just came home to film that, pretty much, from college. And the thing is, is that now I finally have access to all the things that I needed to get access to before, which is pretty much all those Survival Let's Plays that I had on my computer. So now I can start playing those again rendering them out and uh hopefully for you guys i can get some more videos up with that and hopefully by tomorrow or even tonight maybe i don't know we'll see but anyway let's see we have three three thousand seven hundred dollars not bad what should i get here actually i can save up to get more cash or i could get that lose less speed when hitting the floor and bouncing off gummies uh hmm what achievements are there by the way so these are the achievements escape candy land and return to the supermarket Holy shit, you can beat the game then? Okay, so that should be a goal of ours, to beat the game. Let's let's go for that. Let's try and beat the game. But first, you know what? I'm going to save up and get that one, the pickpocket one, because I figure if I get that, then it's the quicker it is to level up everything else. So I might as well go big like that and uh, use that to my advantage. At least I think. That sounds like the smartest idea. Maybe I'm thinking about this wrong, but uh, it doesn't seem like this is one of the things that I am thinking about wrong. Oh, come on, keep going. Look at that. Oh, that's badass. That was like a good five of them in a row. And I ground pound it like that. No, fuck you, cop. Fuck you, cop. Fuck! Really? Really, cop? My god. All right, at least we're going to buy that now. $10,000 for the next one? Jeez, this game better get easier and easier to make money as time goes on. Because otherwise, I think we're screwed. Oh, yeah, it gets a lot easier. That's... That one little upgrade there, I don't know what exactly it did, but it made this so much easier. Look at that, and plus, I'm actually being pretty strategic about how I use those ground pounds. I'm only using it in big groups of them, and it is really working out to my advantage. There we go. There we go. Oh, perfect. No, we're going to die. We're going to... Oh, shit. Come on, one more. Oh, I, I almost got another one in there. Still, though, not bad overall. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really liking this game. Also, guys, I'm just on a roll, actually, to be honest with you guys. Flash player-wise, I found an awesome new game, Burrito Bison, as I'm playing right now. In terms of online multiplayer games, like on Xbox, got Halo 4, which is actually the most badass game. I love... I've been a big Halo fan, like, my whole life. And as soon as Halo 4 came out, I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a go, even though Halo Reach wasn't that good. And I was not disappointed. It's honestly so much better than Reach. It's... it's it's pretty much just as good as Halo 3 as well. It's it's very, very good, to be honest with you guys. I was kind of surprised. But the amazing part about it overall is that I'm having a great time with that. Now I have Black Ops 2 as well, which I'm going to start filming for. I can't upload it, unfortunately, till Tuesday because of legal reasons. I can film for it, though, and get the videos prepared so that Tuesday when it comes around, I can pretty much be a badass and have, like, a ton of videos up. But, um... Regardless of that, basically I can do all that, you know, once again, I just can't film for that. But overall, though, I'm going to have a great time filming these next couple of days, just playing video games, and it's going to be a pretty action-packed weekend. Got myself some burrito bison, some good old Minecraft, also about to do a let's play, or finish up my let's play with Pete, finish up my let's play with Mitch, and it's going to overall be a lot of fun. One second, guys. Alrighty, let's keep going on with this now. There, oh my god, look at that! Got him straight in the face again, I think that's twice in a row. And Jesus! 
We're doing a. I, I haven't even done it. I feel like I just got that ultimate run in kitten cannon that just doesn't stop. I don't know if you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, but I'm pretty sure everyone's had one of those moments where it's just like you cannot be defeated. Oh, ground pound the shit out of those cops. Oh, whoa! Did I just really? Wow! What the fuck was that? I just hit. The, I just hit the wall. Jeez, we are doing pretty damn good. Alright, well, now that I have a little bit more to spend, increase the amount of time you can body slam. Uh, no. Lose less speed when going through doors and landing on cops. No. Uh, gummies make you bounce higher and lose less speed. Start with more powerful launch. You know what? I'm going to get the slippery lotion right there so that I can actually hit the ground and keep on going for a while. I think that might work to my advantage. Oh, God, come on. I wish there was a way to get more... Oh, I think there is a way, actually, to get more of a special type of balloon. So, like, if I wanted more of the explosive balloons, I think I can buy that. But I'm not positive. If I can, though, I'm definitely going to try and look into getting those, because those actually seem pretty important, to be honest with you guys. Like, as you saw last round, it had nothing to do with skill. I literally just kept getting luck after luck after luck, hitting all the right characters. And, oh, I thought I punched him. That That's a little depressing. I thought I had the, gut, the jump on him. I thought I could have got him. Okay, come on. Oh, baby, hit the money bag guy. Come on, come on. Get this guy, get... Yeah, hit the money back guy. Oh, there's another one. Give me that money. I'm, I feel like Mitch right now. Give me all that money. Oh, yeah. I think Mitch would do this for money. I, I know that sounds bad. I could see Mitch. I could see Mitch becoming a luchador in an arena of gummy bears just to get a little bit of extra cash. If you don't know who I'm talking about, then GG, but uh, I love... See, I love games like this. They just, they're just they just all in good fun, and they honestly are just relaxing to play. Like, I'm just sitting back here, relaxing, talking about some of my friends, and just overall just... I don't know. I, I don't know what it is about games like this, but they really make me appreciate video games. And it kind of it makes you remember that, you know, video games at the end of the day, they're just video games. They're not anything more than that. And GG! We just managed to hit the giant walls again. That is... Wow, we can also get Slippery Lotion again pretty soon. So we're going to pretty much be able to hit the ground as many times as we want. And we'll be able to keep on going with this. Yeah, as you saw last time, as we approached that door at the end there and there was no gummy bears to be found, we hit the floor quite a number of times and we were able to just proceed as if nothing happened. So I think that's definitely going to be a new thing that uh, will advantage or be one of our advantages. Okay, there we go. Oh, perfect, perfect. No, that cop's going to screw me. Yeah, I saw that one coming. Okay. At the end of this episode, I think I should set a goal for the end of this episode. So once after, once we're done with this run-through right here, I'm going to go over there, check out our stats, and just kind of set a goal so that we can kind of feel accomplished at the end of this episode. Because I always like doing that, you know what I mean? It's, it's bad if you finish an episode, you're like, damn, I don't really feel like I did anything. All right, so let's go in here then. So by the end of it, we want to get Slippery Lotion, the next upgrade for it, and... Let's see, what do we want to get? Uh, and lower, let's get one more body slam. So we're going to get slippery lotion and one more body slam. That's going to be our goal overall. And uh, let's hope uh, let's hope we can do this. Oh, there we go. Squash one. Bit oh, shit, yeah. We're, if we keep going like this, we're going to be able to finish up any challenges they give us. I wish I could pick up more speed when I hit them. The problem is it doesn't seem like you regain speed that quickly compared to how much you lose it, especially when, like, you hit the ground or something like that. Yeah, like, if I was to approach and actually get to the doors of this part, there's no way I would be able to break through them. Oh, I'm getting close. Oh, that, that's still pretty good. And there we go. At least we got that. So now we can buy the next resist or slippery lotion, I guess. And uh, now we can start saving up. I think we only need about a little bit less than $5,000 till we can get our next goal. Holy shit. This is a good run. I think if we get to that back door, there's a chance we might actually be able to break through it. Oh my god. We're going to break through that door, I bet you guys. I'm feeling it. This is our round. This is our round to break through that door. Here we go. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? That was a perfect run. The fucking cop got me? Really? My god. I was doing so good that round, too. Oh, this is going to be another good round. They're going to squash these motherfuckers. Oh, hit the bomb. Perfect. Oh my god. I'm on fire. I know it's not really me playing, and it's mostly just the game that's on fire, but I still feel like I'm contributing, so don't quote, don't, don't, don't take this the wrong way. Come on. Oh, we, no, we're not going to be able to break through that door. We're going to hit it, but there's no way in hell we're going to break through it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Pop that. Hit the bump. Oh. G. G. Look at that. We couldn't break through it, but still, not bad. And we are halfway to our goal, actually. 
Damn, I, I had a good run there. I think I had like two or three of those in a row where I did a perfect start off. And now I'm just missing them like crazy. I'm I'm off my game a little bit. Uh, I'm going to start trying to ground pound in big crowds again. I stopped doing that for a while because I was trying to save it up for times where I thought I'd need it. But then I realized the times you really need it most are when there's big crowds so you can get as much money as possible. That's probably probably the best idea here. Uh, no. All right, and well, hey. Thousand nine hundred more dollars. Honestly, those police though in this game are killing me. I wish there was an upgrade that made it. I know there's one that makes it so they don't slow you down as much, but I wish there was one that just made them less apparent, so like they didn't show up as often because they are just a bitch to deal with. Yeah, look at that. Like I had to waste a ground pound just so I wouldn't get screwed over. And then right there, same thing. It's like it's just a little ridiculous. They hold you back. Oh god. Oh come on. Perfect. I, I power bounce there at the right times just so I could hit that little zeppelin or whatever you want to call it, and uh, I did it just fine. All right, come on. We got this. Oh, baby, this could be our time. Oh, oh. It wouldn't let me use the rocket once I almost hit the door. All right, guys, it looks like this is going to be our last round because I think we're going to be able to accomplish our goal at the end of this one. So uh, after that, we'll call it GG for the day, and uh, then we'll move on from there. Once again, guys, though, as this video is pretty much coming to a close, I want to remind you all to take a vote. Do you want to do Swords and Sandals 2, or do you want me to buy the latest Swords and Sandals? Because Swords and Sandals 5 is pretty much, from what I could gather, it seems like almost a completely different game in a way. So, really, if you're looking for simplicity, I'd go with 2. If you're looking for the most recent one, I'd go with 5. Uh, but, yeah, so let me see. Is that... Yep, that's just about time to call it quits. So, anyway, guys, make sure to vote, and thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good night.